The DNS sinkhole feature enables the ability to identify the compromised or infected host machines that are accessing malicious domains. When a host machine accesses a malicious domain, the DNS sinkhole feature in the anti-spyware profile will direct this traffic request to the sinkhole IP address or an address that is not routable externally, so that an administrator can identify all the traffic that was sinkholed and identify the compromised source machine. The action should be set to sinkhole and the packet capture should be set at single PCAP to collect raw data that may be necessary on the suspicious domain that may be not collected through the threat log. If you're using predefined profiles and if they are failing BP checks, you can clone them or create custom profiles and do the necessary changes to pass the best practice check. This is the first step in the BPA Plus wizard. You have been redirected here by either clicking the button in the BPA report or from the Get Help section. The first step in the process is to select Browse to upload your tech support file. Navigate to the tech support file and click open. Now that the tech support file has been successfully uploaded, we can continue to the next step in the process. The next screen that displays is just to let you know that you need to set up the PanOS CLI for BPA+. This is how BPA+, remediates your issue. Click next. The next screen is where you select the failed checks. For this demo, we're going to select DNS sinkhole to remediate. Click Next. At the very top, you'll see a message, please review the best practice settings and select the desired option for your config. The corp-as for anti-spyware at vsys1 is the device group associated with this object. The best practice setting is selected. In order to comply with best practices, the malicious domains EDL as well as the default Palo Alto DNS need to be set to the action sinkhole, which they already are, and packet capture needs to be set to single packet. We also need to set the sinkhole IPv4 to pan sinkhole default IP. If we select the existing settings, there's a message at the top, are you sure you want to deselect the best practice settings for this profile? We advise against this as it will make your system less secure and we can see the malicious domains EDL as well as the default Palo Alto DNS are set to packet capture disable. This is not the best practice. So we're going to go back and select best practice settings and click next. Again the message at the top, please review your changes before execution. The existing configuration will be updated once the pan OS set commands are executed. The next step is generate the set commands. There is a button at the top that says copy all commands this is helpful if you're going to remediate several best practice checks at a time. In our case, we're only remediating one failed best practice check. The next section has some important information about the commands. This message has to do with the limitation on some terminal emulators and command line interfaces of 20 commands at a time being copied. We recommend you copy less than 20 commands at a time. The next sentence down here talks about configurations will not take effect until after a successful commit operation. Please be sure to follow your company's policy with respect to making configuration changes. Now we're going to take a look at the commands. The first command puts the firewall in configuration mode. The next three commands set the corp anti spyware profile. The first command sets the IPv address to pan sinkhole default IP. The second command sets the malicious domains EDL packet capture to single packet. And the third command sets the default Palo Alto DNS packet capture to single packet. Then the last command, the exit command, exits the configuration mode. So we'll copy the commands and then we'll switch over to the firewall to enter the commands on the CLI. We'll paste the commands into the CLI. Everything's good. There's no error message associated with it. Now we'll switch back to the firewall and view the changes. So we'll navigate to Objects, and then we'll under Security Profiles, we'll go to Anti-Spyware. We'll find the Corp AS profile. Navigate to DNS Policies. 
We can see that the malicious-domains-edl as well as the default-palo alto-dns settings have been changed. Under the policy action, they're both set to sinkhole and the packet capture is set to single packet. This concludes the demo.